Okie dokie. Well, morning everybody. Well, let me uh, preface this by saying that I'm uh, I'm kind of in a crummy mood right now. I you know, kind of tired. I need to lay down for a nap. But um, I still have a bunch of other stuff I got to get taken care of. My uh, Final Fantasy XIV blog post being one of them. Um, I'm just I'm at a point in there where um, I actually talked about this during my stream earlier that uh, I need to make a video about this. It's about this. Uh, it's a new old team that I had, kind of a version 2.0. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and uh, showcase it. Uh, but before uh, before I continue on, uh, like usual, I'm gonna have some music going in the background. This is uh, Natten's Tarn. Trist Keaton till Trollet. It's Scandinavian. Yeah, Trist Deaton till Trollet. Yeah, very hard to pronounce. I mainly got it because uh, the uh, album art. It's like, hey, that's me when I get home. That's me when I come home from work. Or, that's me when I wake up out of bed. You know, that kind of thing. So the music itself is, I mean, it's, it's listenable. Um, but kind of like yesterday, it's also one of those... Um, albums it's very hard for me to set a volume level for because there's gonna be a lot of loud parts and a lot of quiet parts so there's like no middle ground so. and plus the music itself it does kind of suit my uh, crummy mood so Queens I I might change the name of this I don't know it just um here I'll show you the original version of this originally it was just like my Queens Gone Wild team except with the Archer class not the elementalist uh, but since in this uh, newer version I got one less Queen so the team's now just it's less queeny. Uh, I got a leprechaun in there instead. So, uh, this is just, uh, it was a team I came up with during the Green Kingdom in PvP. So, I've just been uh, using this whenever I can. I really like it. So, uh, but it, like a lot of other teams I have, it's not suited for all content. I'll, I'll kind of do a quick rundown here. Leprechaun, he's the troop that I'm sure you've all come to know and love. You know, starts with full mana, extra green mana for matches, blows, explodes green gems, and my escape key just double tapped. So, same thing. Queen Beatrix, one of the all-time greatest troops, all-time classic here. Gets magic whenever anybody in your team casts a spell. Cleanses everybody on a simple four match. Creates nine green and brown. And then true scatter damage. 40% chance of getting, getting extra turn. Um, Doom Glaive, one of the best weapons out there. Um, deals a base uh, 60 damage to all enemies. Uh, the even bigger one, though, converts brown gems to doom skulls. Um, and you're also getting a... If you're doing green... If you're doing PvP in the green kingdom, you're going to get a 12 mana back. Uh, and then wild, uh, wild Queen. She steals attack. Uh, steals attack and then gives it to me or gives it to the first ally technically then creates a mix of 22 skulls and green gems so. I'll go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and do a do a demo or two here in the uh, explore on we'll do this Leprechaun. 
And then, just like a lot of these uh, other troops and weapons and whatnot that convert one color to another, you want to hold off on it until the uh, combination of, in this case, being uh, brown, browns and skulls, to you want the combination of those two to result in at least a four match. That way, so it stays your turn. Uh, looks like I don't have it, so. And yeah, I got a five match right here, so. But yeah, I, I prioritize that over everything else. Um, I think I've said this in my uh, in my other Queen's videos. One big drawback, um, doing the Elementalist class. If uh, if there's if you're if there's too many entangles over here, um, or if your opponent has too many entangles, then she has no attack to steal from. It's um, it's one of the reasons why I think this team here. Or she's a better fit for this kind of team that doesn't have a doesn't have elementalist because it just gives her more attack to steal. Um, second pro second issue. Not not a whole lot I can do, but she only steals up to forty seven. But um, your opponent often has like eighty two attack, eighty four attack. Less of an issue with uh, with explorers, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try doing this team in PvP once or twice to kind of give you a better idea as to what I'm kind of talking about. So even if you take off 45 or whatever it was 47, they're still gonna have they're still gonna deal 35 skull damage. So again, one of the great things about it was you you're basically disarming your opponent. Yeah, stealth could also be a bit of an issue as well. And then um, there's also a there was a certain word I was looking for. I can't remember what it was, but you're you don't always want to pick the guy directly below the entangled one. If he's about if this guy here, if you think he's about to get one shot, or if he's like really low health. You may want to target the next person instead. Yeah, so he still has 35. He can still, uh, or let me back up. He can still, uh, he still has 35 attack. I'm, I'm having trouble with English right now. I really need to lay down. I totally forgot to say earlier, I'm um, using the Archer class, and I gotta turn this down. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be that loud. Or loud enough to where I have to talk over it. So yeah, 15% um, chance for skull damage to be lethal. Um, Hunter's Mark, they're uh, taking double skull damage. I'm not using a bow. Then you're entangling, you're creating a leaf storm at the start. They get five armor, but especially if I'm doing a uh, green PvP uh, in blood frenzy mode, the extra five armor ain't gonna mean deadly squat. So, but yeah, this is a big one here. Lethal skull damage, and then Hunter's marking a random enemy. See, like I said, Stealthy can really play havoc with this team. Unless you can one-shot her like that.
and something else I also forgot in case uh, anyone didn't see. It also creates a leaf storm and um, it also entangles the top guy, so. How, you can see how fairly quick these battles go. So, so let's let's try this in BBB. I have had next to no luck. Um, I don't want to spend too much time uh, talking or complaining about this, but I said this in yesterday's video um, about the new PVP update, where um, all the team, all the kingdoms are basically central spire, just with restrictions. Uh, you can um, you can set up your teams how you want. Instead of it being a uh, four randomly chosen ones, so yeah. And then on top of that, um, all the all the ones all the ones in the blood frenzy regions now have a uh, uh, fifty percent of uh, uh, buff. Yeah, like I said, I'm having I'm having trouble with English right now. So it means you got to deal with, you got to deal with Stellarix at a, an extra at, you know, all the stats are at 50%, 98. So, um, one of my regulars on my stream named Delson, he uh, suggested this team for me and I have been using it and it's been pretty successful. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and override it. Or here, let me do it. I'll I'll do it later. So normally, before this new PVP update, I can pretty much stomp the yard with with this team, just blowing through the stuff, just like that. Not anymore. Yeah. So, 100 attack, 89 attack, another 100 attack. She's only still on 47, so even with, even with this, they're still uh, they're still dealing 53 skull damage. So, I'm dead in four hits. That's gonna do me.
Hey, forty percent checked in. That's a first. Yeah, and that really, that pretty much was a fluke. Like I said, I can't do diddly squat. I can't do diddly squat in here now. Not when you have Stellar Rex teams at a, a 50% uh, point bonus. So yeah, same thing, 98. So, so now it's 39 for some reason. So yeah, I just ideally the you want to match you want to match the content to how much attacks she can steal if, if possible. You ideally want her to steal all the attack from your opponent. Or from the uh, from your from the troop. So yeah, I'll go ahead and do it, but I I don't really have any high hopes. that up. Yeah, it's a friggin' bullet storm. Too late for old Joe. Yeah, that's what I'm up against. So. But uh yeah, that's going to do it for me. I just wanted to do a showcase of that team. Um so yeah, I got to get this video all prepped and uploaded and all that good stuff and need to get going up need to get back going on my blog and I'm glad I'd like to get a nap in there sometime soon. But otherwise, um, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.